Hey, Isabel here, and today I'm going to share with you five foods that you may think are healthy when in reality may be stopping you from reaching your fat loss goals. Orange juice, artificial sweeteners, whole wheat bread, fake butter, soy milk, any of these foods may be stopping you from reaching your weight loss goals. Now since I know you don't want that to happen, my friend Jeff and I put together a short presentation we're going to show you in just a moment that will not only tell you which foods not to eat, but will tell you the reasons why. We'll also reveal to you the delicious foods you should be eating in order to lose weight and feel great. The best part is you're going to be able to use this information right away. So sit tight and I know you're really going to enjoy what we have for you. Alright, Jeff here. Let's get started. First off, we're glad you decided to join us, and I'd like to thank you in advance for sticking with us so we can reveal all of the great weight loss and fat burning information we know. Take a second, imagine yourself with a really flat belly. Not just any belly, but the kind you see on the cover of magazines when you're checking out at the grocery store. Okay, I want you to keep that picture of yourself in mind. Let me ask you a quick question. What do you think is the main underlying reason why people gain weight and end up with undesirable bodies? The answer is food choices. Not calories, not overeating, or even lack of activity or exercise. It's the foods you are eating that are actually the main cause. I'm not saying that the other factors don't add to the problem, but you'd be surprised. And I'm not talking about eating nasty tasting health foods. Isabel and I aren't into that, and if you are, this video isn't for you. Half of those health foods really aren't good for you anyway. We know because you're watching this, you're probably already ahead of most people when it comes to knowing what foods to eat. This video will fill in some small but important gaps and help you tie everything together, allowing you to put your knowledge to use in the best way possible. So how do we know this information works? Well, Isabel and I created this site as a result of helping thousands and thousands of people lose weight and achieve the body they've always dreamed of. Like I said, not through counting calories, eating tasteless health foods, tons of exercise, and definitely not fake cleanses, pills, or magic fairy dust, but by eating the right way. That's how we know. Our goal is to help you cut down a bit of your belly fat every week and continue to burn off by using the information we're going to share. We're not here to tell you something unbelievable like we've won weird tip for amazing fat loss or you can lose 5 pounds a day and keep it off by drinking some strange lemon water and spice concoction. Come on, we've all heard enough of those phony baloney claims by now that are just plain irresponsible. So what can you expect from watching this video? You can expect an understanding of methods you can use to burn fat immediately and what you need to do to continue losing weight after that. This set of principles has helped a ton of people achieve a beautiful, lean, and healthy body. Alright, do you still have that image of yourself with a flat belly? Good, so let me reiterate, if you watch this video start to finish and follow what we teach, you will have the information you need to help burn off the unwanted fat, flatten your belly, and find that body you've always wanted. The truth is, all the information we're about to share is out there, but the problem is being able to sift through all the hype and scams and get to the good stuff that will actually benefit you. Really, it's three basic principles you should know. Everything else is unnecessary and just leads to a lot of confusion. So what are these three principles? Well, know the foods that cause accelerated fat burning in your body. Know the particular foods that are preventing you from burning fat. And yes, many of these are those health foods we were talking about earlier. And put the right foods together in a certain way to create the fat burning effect. But don't worry, applying these can be easy and we're about to show you how. So just a little more about us. Real quick, Isabel and I started working together in 2008. She's a fully certified nutritionist and an exercise specialist. She's also a world-renowned speaker and an international best-selling author. Her strategies have helped people all over the world from all types of backgrounds, most likely someone just like you. Oh, and just so you know that we don't just talk the talk, but also walk the walk, here's a picture of Isabel and me just a month after we started sharing Isabel's personal knowledge online. Check out those arms. Yes, I'm talking about Isabel's. Now that you know more about us, I'm going to hand it back to Isabel to really get into the information you need to know. Hey there, Isabel here. Is this how you feel right now? You get on the scale in the morning and you're like, what the heck is going on here? I just ate celery and carrots all darn day. I'm on this super crash diet, or I did everything I was supposed to. Is that you? Is that how you feel? Trust me, you're not alone. Did she just say celery and carrots all darn day? Yes, Jeff, I did, and I meant it. Although I don't like to show these pictures, here's exactly what I used to look like. That's right. This is Isabel back in the day. Some people don't want to believe it, but it is. I assure you. This is her 30 pounds overweight, full of acne, and totally struggling. And this is what she looks like now. Isabel managed to lose a significant amount of weight, and way more importantly, she was able to keep it off for over 10 years now. 
She didn't just get to her dream body only to gain it all back, but rather she had no problems maintaining her slender and attractive figure for the next decade. I can sit here and tell you her whole story about how she went through every cockamamie diet scheme until she figured out a real long-term fat loss solution, but that would just take too long and we have to get to the information we promised. Okay, here we go. Sugar is your number one enemy. I know what you're thinking. Hold on, you just told me this is going to be different. Tell me something I don't know. But we're not actually talking about jelly donuts and candy canes here. Yes, those are bad for you, but we're here to show you foods disguised as health foods that quickly change to sugar in your body. Guess what? In addition to the foods we showed you earlier, like orange juice and whole wheat bread, healthy cereals, things designated as low fat like muffins and salad dressings and granola, these are the foods that are actually causing you to gain, or at least not lose weight, and the list goes on and on. Listen. I'm telling you the truth. When that stuff hits your system, it turns to sugar. Tons of foods that are touted as healthy do the same thing. They're not healthy. They're actually the foods that are preventing you from losing fat. Let me show you a little chart that I use to explain this to people. You see the column on the left? That represents your blood sugar. And no, blood sugar is not something only diabetics need to worry about. Anyone who's trying to burn stubborn fat off their body needs to regulate their blood sugar. Here's why. If your blood sugar is high, and by high I mean anything over the 100 to 120 zone for a consistent period of time, your body has no choice but to release a hormone called insulin. Insulin signals your body to store fat, and that's exactly what you don't want. But having high blood sugar for a consistent period of time is actually very dangerous for your body, so insulin comes in to save the day. Unfortunately though, this makes you store lots of fat. There's even more bad news. I know, it couldn't get any worse, right? Well, when insulin is released, it actually takes your blood sugar from a high to an extreme low. And do you know what happens when your blood sugar is low? You're hungry, you have cravings, and you're extremely fatigued. Is that how you felt on many diet programs? Is that how you feel a lot during the day? Doesn't that make it near impossible to stay on your fat burning plan? Now, I'm not here to tell you that we all don't need a certain amount of insulin in our bloodstream. If we didn't, we would all be walking around as diabetics. But what I am saying is that many people are releasing way too much insulin, and that's why it's nearly impossible for them to lose any weight. The answer that you need to this problem is knowing exactly which foods you can eat that will not cause this blood sugar insulin roller coaster. Let me go into explaining how to recognize those foods right now. I know you're probably surprised to see carbs written across the top of this screen, especially since we just got done talking about sugar, and many people associate carbs with sugar. But what you need to know is that not all carbs are created equal, and the ones that you're eating thinking they're healthy may be doing you more harm than good. Look, you need carbs to make your body function properly, but there are certain carbs you absolutely do not need. For example, remember we told you that whole wheat bread is a huge no-no? Whole wheat bread will create an increase in blood sugar and insulin just as much as most other breads. This also happens with most pastas, yes, even the whole wheat ones, almost all cereals, crackers, even the ones that have all kind of healthy claims written all over the box. All of them will put you in that fat storing state. So which carbs should you eat? Well, lucky for you and me, there are a lot of them. If you're a fan of bread, as many people are, I may have really upset you before with all that bad news about bread. But there are still a lot of breads you can have. There are breads made from sprouted grains or from grains like rice and spelt that all fit perfectly into your fat burning meal plan. And they taste good too. I'm not into eating anything that tastes bad and I'm sure you're not either. Speaking of good grains, how do you like rice? Ever heard of millet and quinoa? They're absolutely delicious. And although not a grain, how about sweet potatoes with a little butter and cinnamon? Yes, you can have that and still burn tons of fat. You know what else you can have that qualifies as a good form of carbs? Well, pretty much any fruit and vegetable is free game. And I know there are some crazy diet plans out there that limit the amounts of fruits and vegetables you can have, but that's just a complete lie. Any diet that tells you you can't have something like a fruit or a vegetable is some crazy crash diet and not realistic for the long term. And that's not what we're trying to show you here. The truth is, the good fiber, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in most fruits and vegetables will actually help you burn fat faster. Here's another important topic that's a source of a lot of confusion. If you don't know exactly what kinds of fat you should be eating, burning fat will be impossible. Yes, impossible. I almost can't believe that in this day and age, people are still afraid to eat fat. But who can blame them? 
We've been told by just about every health guru that fat is what makes people fat. This is a huge misconception and a big lie. You want to know what the real truth is? The right kind of fat will actually help burn a ridiculous amount of fat off your body, greatly increasing your chances of fat loss success. Here's why. When you give your body the right kind of fat, it actually increases the metabolic process to burn off your unwanted fat. Did you get that? Eat the right kind of fat and you'll burn fat. Eat the wrong kind of fat and you'll store fat. Here are the fats you should be avoiding like the plague because they are the ones that are causing you to gain weight and preventing you from losing the bad fat off your body. Hydrogenated oils, canola oil and vegetable oils, margarine, and definitely those substitute fake butter products. I know we already told you about the fake butter, but just in case you're still in denial, let me say it again so it's clear. Read the ingredients label. Is there anything you can pronounce? Just like you don't know what it is, neither does your body. It doesn't matter if all those commercials out there are telling you that it's actually the healthy alternative to butter. That's not real food. And your body does nothing good with the stuff but store it as bad fat. Here's some good news. Let me let you in on all the delicious fat you can have. Real butter, whole eggs, coconut oil, olive oil, avocados, raw nuts. You think I'm crazy now, don't you? This is usually the place where many people ask me, Isabel, aren't we all supposed to avoid saturated fat for our health? Am I going to keel over from a heart attack by eating butter and coconut oil? Definitely not. Another huge misconception and something most health professionals have all wrong. Statistics prove it. Remember, sugar is your enemy. All these natural, unprocessed fats that are not full of chemicals are not only good for you, but what your body needs to burn off your unwanted fat. Now, if we're going to consider sugar enemy number one, then processed foods would be enemy number two. But then again, most processed foods contain an incredible amount of sugar. Do you know what else they contain? Tons of chemicals that are making it almost impossible for your body to burn off fat. Let me explain this by giving you a brief anatomy lesson and I promise it won't be hard. It all comes down to how effectively your liver is working. Now your liver has many functions, but the two we want to focus on here are the breakdown of fats and the filtering of harmful substances from the blood. If it's your liver's job to break down fat, you want it working at full force, right? But when your poor little liver is too busy trying its hardest to filter out all the harmful substances that are coming in from all those processed foods, it has no time or energy for fat breakdown. Just like if you had two big jobs each day and you spent your whole day working on just one, do you think the other would get done? Probably not. The easiest solution to making sure that your liver has all the time it needs to break down fat is to stop feeding it harmful substances to work on. So what are some of those harmful substances? Things like artificial sweeteners, high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oils, and even processed soy products. It's the foods that contain these chemicals that are overwhelming your liver and you have to stop eating them. Even if you think you may not be eating many of these chemicals, they are unfortunately in many foods we think are good for us. Do you know that I found high fructose corn syrup in foods like so-called healthy yogurt, whole wheat bread, and cereals advertised as good for you? It's right there on the ingredients list. So do yourself and your liver a favor. Give it a chance to get into fat burning mode by greatly reducing, or dare I say eliminating, processed foods from your eating plan. This means saying goodbye to the packaged snacks, the microwavable meals, diet health bars, and definitely the soy products and say hello to foods you know do not require heavy processing. You want to be eating foods that only contain one ingredient, like steak, chicken, fish, eggs, fruits and veggies, olive oil, coconut oil, butter, rice, and sweet potatoes. And that's just a tiny portion of all the foods you can eat. There are literally a limitless number of delicious meals that can be created with any combination of any of these foods. I know because this is what I've eaten to stay super lean over the past 10 years. Now, let's get into a topic that's not exactly food, and yet I know it's on your mind. Calories. First and foremost, I'm going to be honest and tell you that I absolutely hate the word calories. It just drives everyone nutso. And I never again want to hear, Isabel, how many calories should I be eating to lose weight? It's not the number of calories that matters. Remember, it's the quality of food you're eating and the metabolic enhancing effect on your body that matters. So most people are actually focused on the wrong thing. If you just eliminate the bad stuff, the garbage foods, processed foods, and focus on eating the good stuff, the foods I've mentioned earlier, 
you could drop the calculator and stop all this counting madness. But that answer is just not good enough for most people. I do admit, you have to be somewhat reasonable about the amount you eat, but exactly what is reasonable for you and what is reasonable for me? Surprisingly enough, it's a lot more calories than you think. Once I figured out that the portions of food I needed to eat to lose weight were actually significantly larger than the portions I was eating before, it was like the best thing that ever happened. I didn't have to be hungry anymore and I was still losing weight. How great is that? Here I was previously starving myself with all the wrong foods, only to find out if I ate all the right foods, I could eat a lot. And I love to eat. And actually starving myself was doing me more harm than good because my body was holding on to all of my bad fat in an effort to protect me. You might have heard this before, calorie restriction may lead your body into starvation mode. And that's when your body thinks you're dying of starvation and protects you by holding on to every last bit of fat and every last calorie you have in your body. I'm pretty sure most people in this day and age are not running the risk of starvation. What do you think? You probably want me to tell you approximately where to start. Just so you don't go on an eating free-for-all, but hang tight because I'm going to get you there and I'm going to go into that in just a minute. Here's the thing. It's not only about knowing what foods are good and what foods are not. It's also knowing your body and the specific combinations of food that make you burn off fat. Most diets seriously flunk because they're not specific for you. That's where metabolism typing comes in. Knowing your metabolism type will guide you in selecting foods for an ideal fat burning environment in your body. And don't worry, it's easy because I'm going to give you a simple questionnaire that will determine your type for you. You also need to find the right portions for your body. Again, a simple task with the charts I'm going to give you. And I'm not talking little bird sized portions here. Remember, I said I want you to eat a lot. Nowadays, everyone thinks I was born with a great metabolism, but you've seen the pictures. You know that's not the case. What I did was create a good metabolism for myself just by eating all the right foods. Also, if you're eating foods you hate all day long, it's never going to work. You have to be eating foods you really enjoy to stick to any kind of plan. And finally, do yourself a favor and put the calculator down. Like I said before, you can count calories, but calories don't count. Okay, now I hope at this point you're not feeling like one of the kiddos on the screen. I know this information all at once may seem like a lot, and you may not be sure what to do with all of it. Or better yet, what to do to put it together in a way that's going to work specifically for you. Not only work for you, but work in a practical way. I see this happen to people all the time. They get their hands on some of the best information out there, but then they're lost when it comes to applying it to themselves. And what good can all this information be if you can't apply it? So we've come up with a solution to this dilemma. We've put together a program where we can tell you exactly what to do, exactly what to eat, exactly when to eat, exactly which foods, and exactly how to make it ideal and specific to you. Would that help you make the best use of all of this information? Would it help make this whole process so much easier? We call the program Beyond Diet because guess what? This is beyond a diet and we will hand hold you through eating healthy foods, losing weight, burning fat, and much, much more. Remember this chart? I threw up some examples for you. The foods on the left you want to avoid, just like we talked about. The foods on the right are a must for helping you to successfully burn off fat. Now these are just a few examples to give you an idea. There are still many more foods on both sides of the chart that we want to show you. We just couldn't fit them all on the chart. We only use real, delicious, flavorful, and easily available foods to help you accomplish all of your fat burning goals. I think you're starting to get the gist of what we're talking about. First figuring out what you've been doing wrong, then eating foods you like that will aid your fat loss in sizable quantities. Most importantly, never going hungry again. It is our goal to help you take off your undesired weight, not only weight, but the unwanted fat off your body, because, let's be honest, how much you weigh doesn't mean anything unless you're happy with the way you look. Still have that image of yourself with the flat belly? Hold on to that for a bit longer because the program we're about to show you gives the steps to get you there. So here's exactly what you'll get with the Beyond Diet program. The main program. This is the complete, fully detailed program that contains everything you need to know to follow, implement, and succeed with Beyond Diet. What to eat, when to eat it, detailed food lists, charts, tables, frequently asked questions, and exactly how to optimize the program so it is perfectly suited to you. The Metabolism Typing Test. 
This is an easy questionnaire that you will take right online to determine your specific metabolism type. The Quick Start Guide. I want to get you started as soon as possible. You can absorb the whole thing beginning to end in less than 15 minutes and get started on your new plans right away. Many people have actually used this guide alone to lose their first 10 to 15 pounds of fat without even using anything else. It's really that complete and that easy to use. The food shopping list. I don't want you to be overwhelmed when you go food shopping for the foods on your fat loss plan. So I'm gonna tell you exactly where to find everything. The top 10 nutrition mistakes keeping you fat. I wanna make sure you're not making any of the same mistakes I see people making time and time again. These 10 simple things will make an immediate difference in your life and you'll be wondering why you were never told these principles before. The recipes. I'm gonna give you some of my very favorite and extremely delicious recipes that you can prepare right in your own home. The best part is they're simple and basic yet delicious and creative. I definitely don't have hours to spend in the kitchen and I'm guessing you don't either. How about meals like Caribbean chicken, marinated pork chops, salmon with pecan pesto, and sweet potato dollars? Eating foods that will help you lose fat do not have to taste bad, and these recipes prove it. The meal plans. On top of everything else, we still don't want you to have to think. We want to lay it out all for you. Eventually, everything will become second nature to you, but we want to make it even easier on you and give you 60 days of already done for you meal plans. These meal plans will not only tell you what you need to eat, but they'll also give you an incredible amount of meal variety. And don't worry, there's plenty of flexibility built in, so if there's something you don't like, you don't have to eat it. Now that we've gone over what's in the program, you're probably wondering what it costs. Let's do a quick comparison with other weight loss alternatives, and we won't even take into account their effectiveness. So you like to go to the gym. Well, on average, a gym membership costs about 30 bucks a month. That's $360 a year. Maybe you're someone that needs more guidance or motivation. A personal trainer without a gym membership or equipment will run you about 50 an hour. If you go to one session a week, it will cost you around 200 a month or $2,400 a year. Others like to go even further and get help from a nutritionist or dietitian. Now you're looking at $100 an hour or $400 a month. And for those of you considering cosmetic surgery, most procedures will run at least $2,500. And that's not even taking into account the huge health risks or pain and suffering of recovery. The Beyond Diet program is only $97. But that's not what you're going to pay today. Earlier, we discussed why most diets fail. But we left out one key reason. As with any program, not just diets, it's only as good as what you make of it. Most diets give you the tools, but then leave you to do everything yourself. This is where our program is different than all the others out there. We created a living and ever-changing social website called the Beyond Diet Community based on what we've learned by listening to our 400,000 plus customers. This community is your single source for encouragement, support, motivation, and answers to your questions all through real interaction with Isabel and our team, as well as tons of other members. Being part of the Beyond Diet Community makes following the eating plan a breeze, because we've taken the entire program and made it available to you online. The difference is, it's not just text on a page. The site enhances the experience and brings the program to life. Not only do you interact with the community and coaches, but there are super useful tools that will do all the calculations for you based on your specific input. And the site is chock full of illustrations, tips, and videos where Isabel gives you her personal insights and experiences right from her own kitchen. Need a recipe? You'll already get a ton of them in the program, but inside the community you'll find hundreds more. Not only do Isabel and our team frequently post new ones, other members are eager to share their own delicious recipes that follow the principles we've shared. The bottom line is the community gives you so much more than any program could ever provide by itself. You'll never feel alone because there's constant feedback and communication. If you're feeling discouraged or have questions, remember the Beyond Diet community is there to support you and that is exactly why we created it. With over 100,000 active members already, chances are there's someone in the community that can help you through your struggles because they've gone through the same ones already. The Beyond Diet program plus the Beyond Diet community is the only one-two knockout punch you'll ever need to get rid of that nasty fat and find the dream body you've been picturing. Remember, your satisfaction is what is important to us. We were going to charge $49.95 a month to belong to the Beyond Diet community. However, we want to give you even more. We want to make your decision to get started on that new body a no-brainer and deliver more than any weight loss program ever has. 
So Isabel and I decided to give you a lifetime membership to the Beyond Diet community for only 47 Think about it this way. If we were charging only $4.99 a month, then the membership would cost $59.90 a year and you would already be getting 10 times the value. But with your purchase, you will receive a lifetime access to the Beyond Diet community in just moments. Yes, you heard me. That's access to all the online tools, recipes, meal plans, Isabel and our coaches, as well as the network of other members, all there to support and motivate you as you go through this journey. But I think you know me by now. I'm not done. This has to be something you get really excited about. Remember the $97 for just the program? We believe that the combination of the program and especially the Beyond Diet community is the key to attaining that body you've been imagining. So as our gift to you, we are going to include the $97 program absolutely free as part of your lifetime membership for $47. In addition to everything else, we'll provide digital takeaways for each component. So if you're ever offline, you'll have access to the information on your computer, iPad, or any digital device. Now, if that's not over 10 times the value for the cost, then eating Twinkies all day long is good for you. Let's quickly discuss your satisfaction. Because every person out there is different and results vary based on each individual, it would be silly and a complete gimmick to guarantee exact results. Instead, what we are offering is even better. We want you to have a 100% ironclad, no questions asked, money back guarantee based on your personal satisfaction. I want to let you know that if something isn't right, even though we thought of everything we could, we want to be more than fair. And if you're not satisfied for whatever reason, we get it and we'll give you your money back for a full 60 days. Our guarantee ensures your satisfaction because your satisfaction is what is most important to us. We truly believe in the power of this program and it makes us happy to help you achieve your goals and attain that body you've been imagining this whole time. So here's what you need to do. Just click on that button right in your screen that says get access now. That's right, press that button and sign up. Definitely do this now. Take control of your body and weight by eating foods you love and get support throughout this whole journey with caring people going through the same challenges. There's no better way to do it. When you do this now, we'll include our 14 days of supercharged meal plans, the most powerful meal plans we've created to date, and also an excellent starting point. Click that button and start your journey. In a short time, you could be showing off your new body and making all of your friends jealous. You'll be so thrilled that you found this program. Okay, I'm going to let Isabel answer a few of the common questions. So here are some of the most common questions I get about the program. Is this an extreme diet? No. This plan is not a super low carb or low calorie extreme diet or crash diet plan. As a matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. It's a way that you can eat and maintain for the long term. What if you're a vegetarian? You can still create the same fat-burning meal plans as a vegetarian that you would if you were not. Your food choices will just not include animal products. That's it. No one said you had to be a meat eater or a meat lover to get the body you want and drop the fat off your body. How about menopause? Actually, these plans have been an extreme help to thousands of women, alleviating a lot of their symptoms, helping to regulate their hormones, and making this time in their lives a lot easier to deal with, and even lose their unwanted weight during this time. What if you're one of the millions of people that is suffering from conditions like arthritis, fibromyalgia, diabetes, or even Crohn's disease? The same natural foods that I just told you to get your body to burn off fat are the same foods that minimize the effects of these conditions especially diabetes where controlling your blood sugar is an absolute must. How about pregnancy? Well now here is something I also have first-hand experience with. Not only can you follow the Beyond Diet program before, during, and after pregnancy, I highly recommend it. It's actually a great way to nourish your growing baby and you at the same time. Not to mention the fact that you will not gain an excessive amount of weight during your pregnancy. What if there are certain foods you're allergic to and absolutely can't eat no matter what? Not a problem at all. If you can eat certain foods, they just do not become a part of your fat burning plan. Simple. This is also not an all or nothing plan. Beyond Diet even works if you begin with one small change at a time. Most people even experience dramatic changes after just incorporating one of the principles taught in the program. So no, you don't have to be perfect all the time to see incredible results. 
You create the program that is ideal and best for your lifestyle, and we will give you the tools to do just that. So click the button right on your screen that says Get Access Now. Yes, that button with the arrows pointing to it. Start this journey with us and you'll have all the tools you need to see the amazing results you've been picturing this entire time. It's that simple. Remember you will gain access to the Beyond Diet community, the entire enhanced program, all of the tools, and much more right away. Come join us now by clicking that button. You'll be happy you did.